All right, so I thought what I'd do in this video is just a bit more of like a personal thing about me, because I feel like this channel, we're, we're almost gonna hit 100,000 subscribers soon. I feel like this is a really good community for lucid dreaming, but I also feel like I've not really shared much essentially about who I am as a person. So, and I feel like a lot of the videos, they're quite, I don't know, they're quite formal, but at the same time, they're kind of a bit serious, aren't they? They're sort of just me telling you a load of information. So I think the best thing is if I just go through some questions, I guess, that I've had from the comments. I'm not gonna say who's said the questions because I can't be bothered to, <laughs> to read them all out, but um, yeah, so the, the, the few questions I've had are as follows. How did I get into lucid dreaming? Well, the, I guess the main way that I got into lucid dreaming was as a kid, I was confined to my room. I was misbehaved or something like that. And uh, I was, for some reason I was like, I had to stay in my room, like as a sort of punishment, I guess. And what I did was I had so much energy, like I had all this energy and, you know, motivation to do stuff as a kid. Like, you know what it's like when you're a kid, you, you're bouncing off the walls essentially. Um, but because I was confined to my room and I couldn't use any screens, I couldn't use my phone or anything like that. I don't think I even had a phone actually at that point. I had all this energy and like, I had to put it somewhere, right? So I just ended up falling asleep. You know, I just ended up having a nap in the middle of the day and what, what that did, um, because I had all this energy, like I was, you know, bouncing off the walls, I wanted to do things, I wanted to go outside and play, climb trees and that sort of thing. Um, but I had all this energy and I didn't know what to do with it. So I went to sleep, I had a nap and it turns out that energy turned into my first lucid dream. It was, it was like an accident, I guess. Yeah, so that is how I had my first lucid dream, by accident. I didn't learn how to do it, I didn't research it, I didn't actually know what it was <laughs> until I until after it happened. And then it's only when it actually happened that I was like, oh, okay, wow, something was, you know, strange there. That, was, that wasn't a normal dream. And so from that point on, I researched it and, you know, went down that path. Number two. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go sort of off-piste here a bit. Um, I'm not necessarily just gonna answer questions. So, a few things that maybe you didn't know about me. Well, I like to fly drones. So, a drone is like a little, let me see if I've got one here. This is a drone. Well, it's a small one anyway. This is like a tiny little uh, indoor drone. And so what I do is I fly these things around. <laughs> it's like my, uh, I guess because ever since I was a kid, I've always had this dream of flying, you know, of either wingsuit diving or just levitating or whatever. And this is the closest I can get to doing that on a daily basis. You know, unless I actually became a wingsuit diver and I was somehow able to, to wingsuit dive every day. Those of you who don't know, it's very expensive and hard to organize. Whereas this thing, you know, I can put these, um, there's these sort of goggles that you wear that enable you to see what the camera sees. And I fly it around the house and it's, just, it's like I'm flying, you know, it's the closest I can get when I'm awake, you know, when I'm not lucid dreaming or when I'm not doing a wingsuit dive, which I still haven't done yet. I want to do it, but. In order to do that, you have—I think—you have to have about 200 skydives before you can even start training to do wingsuit diving. So it's a very expensive and long process. So one of the things you've probably noticed recently, um, I'd say especially in the last six months to a year, is that I really like traveling. So I like going on random trips. I like exploring places, you know, going to new countries and things, places I've never been to. And in many ways, that's sort of taken me away from this channel. I've felt like I, I feel like I've neglected this channel to a large degree um, because I've just been traveling and I just haven't, essentially, I just haven't been motivated enough to make videos for whatever reason. Um, and I'll, I'll get into that in a in a second. But yeah, I like traveling. <laughs> I like exploring new places and you know seeing new things, meeting new people, and that the whole the whole traveling thing, you know. Um, so another question I get asked quite a lot is what do my tattoos mean? Now I have, as you've probably noticed, quite a few, um, but in terms of what they mean, it's hard to explain, you know, if I explained what they meant, this video would be quite long, but generally I get something that relates to either an idea or a concept that I, that means a lot to me or that I believe in, uh, or I get them as like a filler. And what I mean by that is like, say for example, with a sleeve, those of you who have sleeves know that you can't you can't always fill that sleeve with things that are meaningful to you. So for example, uh, you know, in the middle of the sleeve, in between two pieces that might mean something to you, you might have something like a rose or, you know, some shading to fill it in. So in that sense, yeah, some of them are just there because they look cool. I just like the look of them. Other ones have more personal meaning, but in, they do, most of them mean something to me. Another thing which a lot of people seem to ask is why 
<coughs> why don't I upload very frequently? And uh, I guess it sort of comes in waves, you know, for me. I like to, so like I might have a burst of inspiration where I want to film loads of videos, I've got loads of things to talk about, I want to make one every day. And then I might have like, you know, a period of reflect, a reflection, you know, where I go back in um, to like my, my own personal world, you know, I read things, I research, I meditate and all this stuff. And uh, I, th I think a lot of YouTubers miss that and they try and sort of pump out, they try and sort of uh, pump out content like consistently every day. And some of them are very good at this, like PewDiePie, he makes a video, you know, more or less every day and it's, it's always fairly high quality. Whereas for YouTubers that share information or, you know, that, that are teaching something or are sharing, yeah, in, I guess you could say information, it's harder to do that because there's only a limited amount of information out there on a set on on a given topic, and so really it's a it's about finding a way of expressing the same information but in different ways and also incorporating it into different people's problems. Like for example, when I answer people's questions, it's like I'm applying fairly fundamental principles of you know how lucid dreaming works to their specific problem and trying to work out like what how I can answer the question. So. So by doing all of that, what I'm saying is you can't make a video every single day, at least, you know, you can, but I, I try and, I, I, I naturally work in sort of these bursts where I'll have like loads of videos and then maybe nothing for a few weeks, you know. I am trying to work on it and make it less like that, but that's just how it is. That's how it's played out so far. What camera do I use? Well, it sort of varies, depends whether I'm traveling or not, but usually I'll film on this camera here, which is a Sony RX100. And but before that, I used the the one of the older Sony models. I think it was a Sony DSC WX500, which is the one with the crazy zoom lens, which I just didn't need. <laughs> so I've now sold that camera. Um, I now use this Sony. Um, or if I'm traveling and you'll notice that you'll notice the difference, right? Because the audio won't be as good. Um, I'll use this camera, which is the um, Sony FDR. X3000. Now that's mainly for like, travel vlogs and stuff because it's got that super wide angle lens. But what I'm doing recently is I'm actually experimenting with doing like point of view videos with this camera so that I can, if I'm in like a crazy place, you know, if I am somewhere which could look a bit like a dream, then I'll show you that in with that camera. So it's like you're sort of almost there with me. Okay, I think that will do for this video. I can't remember how many questions I've answered, but I'm sure there's been a few. <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, leave a comment letting me know. And in fact, no, I'll tell you what, leave a comment letting me know what you want to know, and then that way I'll make another video and actually answer a load more questions. So leave a comment on this video letting me know what you want to be answered. Thanks for watching, guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel, or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed, or gone onto my website, or something like that.